Hello everybody, my name is Colton and today I'll be taking apart this laptop. So let's get started. First we have to flip it over. Because that's where all the screws are. This one. Okay. Got all the screws loose, so hopefully the back just the bottom comes right off. Oh. Okay, we're opening the screen up here. All the screws are gonna fall out. Plastic piece on the bottom, kind of shaped like a T with some oil on it. So that in scrap pack. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this piece of a computer is. Yeah. I have no idea what this does. Um, I see some screws on it and we can take it apart further and probably figure out just what this is. Got the screws off. Um, got this cover. I'm not really sure why it has paper on it. It's got paper on this cover. And we have even more screws on here. Says, oh, this is the hard drive of the computer, is what this is. Okay. So unfortunately, the screws on here are just too small for my screwdriver, so we can't get any further into this hard drive. I'm not really sure there's anything else in here. Okay, so we have these two gigabyte RAM chips for the computer. So there's another one here. Okay, so we're gonna have to finish getting this cover off to do any more keys in the car on the computer. a way to open up this screen. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's the wires that run to the screen, the LEDs, the camera and the microphone written up here. But I don't want nothing. So. Oh wait, hold on. I remember something. I took apart another computer a long time ago and there was the foam up here on the top that was covering up the screen holes. You want to be careful not to shatter this screen here. Because I don't know. Okay, so. Obviously, I'll be thinking for the computer. On this bottom part, so not much to see up here. But this screen is very thick. I have lots of layers. Hmm. Yeah, so that's what it looks like on the back. And then it's green. got the keyboard off of this computer um yeah and I've taken all a lot of these keys off so there's really not much to show on here there's this piece of like paper wire I guess you could call it running underneath here 
So when you push a button on the computer, it then pushes down a rubber thing, which pushes against the metal plate running against the bottom, telling the computer what you're typing. And we have some buttons up here, which are on a lot of these computers. And then we have the trackpad here. Um, this is what it would look like underneath the trackpad. I see some screws here, so let's see if we can uh, take off the screws and figure out how it works. Okay, so we have these um, buttons on the bottom of the trackpad. Oh, yeah, the bottom of the trackpad. These just bring up options. Some of that paper wire, as I call it. And a metal plate. Now we're going to get into the actual computer. I'm going to put on my gloves again. Okay, so we got the metal plate off. Nothing, nothing nifty. Look at this um, power button here. Okay, so there's a little circuit underneath and this wire goes and plugs into the main circuit of the computer. So this is what the inside of the computer looks like. And then this piece right here will be the CD player. So let's take a look at that first. Oh, this slides right out. Unfortunately, there are some mini screws on this CD player that I can't get to come out because I have a screwdriver for them. But we can see a little bit of the inside by just peeling back the cover. So you see this little, it looks like a light, but it's um, a kind of like a laser that would slide back and forth as the disc spins and read the disc. And as you um, probably know, Find it. Oh, okay. You just push this if the computer were on and it'll come out, out and you can slide your um, CD in. We just have the internet port and the power port connected to a little circuit with a big chip here. And then it runs along here, and I see a screw. So it looks like it um, moves it upwards and keeps going into another circuit. Yeah, the, this, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a like, chip here, and then plug into another plug here, and I'm guessing that is to raise the power up to pull into the next circuit. I am not entirely sure what this ginormous thing is, but all I know is that there's a USB port right here. So I just took out this metal rod instead of what I was trying to take out. Let's try that again. So this is what the USB port is attached to. Um, it looks like this metal thing is hollow inside. So I'm pretty sure something would slide into here and do something for the computer. But I got the big circuit coming off here. And there's basically just a bunch of chips and metal dots on it. Okay, so I just did the, hold on, I think it's up so you can see that. Just did the fan off of the computer. It's 
right next to a vent on the side. I think it's actually not as big as you might expect to on that whole computer. That's what it looks like on the bottom. And there's some vents to blow it off of the computer. It looks like some parts of this computer are welded together. Not very much, but makes it very difficult to take it apart. It's gonna be in pieces by the time we get it off. I'll cover it with some black paper. Very sticky. I guess so that no electric gets into parts of the computer that's not supposed to get into. Yeah, like I said, there's really not much on here. Um, stuff on the bottom there. Sticky. And then we have this other part of the circuit. Oh, this is a part of what connects to the battery for the computer. So you should see on the bottom. Yeah, right here. The copper that you just saw would stick out of here so that the power would flow through the battery into the computer. Oh, so I don't know if this is a little bit dangerous, but this is what it looks like on the inside of the circuit. All of the, pretty sure those are just plastic fibers, nothing to transport electricity or anything. Looks like we have an aux port or headphone, I mean, and then a little battery in there. Okay, so we have this orange piece here. I don't remember what it does, but I'm pretty sure it carries the pulling from the fan across the computer or the other way around where it carries the heat out of the computer. We have some USB ports and a port to connect to a monitor. Okay. The orange piece. And then there's this piece right here, there's a little like screw. Take a flathead screwdriver and just turn it and show them off. Yep, here we go. Unlock it. It's got like a chalk on my finger. Oh, okay. So I'm not really sure what this piece does. There's lots of little pointy ends on it. If you know what it is, please tell me down in the comments below. Plugs into this thing here. I don't know why it locks or unlocks. Kind of funky. just connects to the RAM that I showed you earlier. Uh, connects to a USB port and an HDMI port. There's the um, USB and HDMI port. This USB port is actually a dual port. It connects to something else. I don't remember what it is or don't even know what it does. So that would be the last functional part of this computer. All we have left is just a frame. Some wires sticking out. So that is the taking apart of an entire computer. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and check out all of our future videos. Thank you for watching.